Can my spouse work in the United States if I'm here on a non-immigrant visa? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States out of our office right here in St. Louis, Missouri. And so we get this question from time to time and it's sort of tricky, sort of confusing, sort of hard to figure out. And that is, if I'm in the United States on a non-immigrant visa, which is like a student visa, a visit visa, a J-1 student visa, or uh, a work visa like an H-1B or an L-1 visa, the question is, can my foreign-born spouse who's with me, who are on a derivative visa, can they work in the United States? And so I thought I'd shoot a video to sort of walk through the categories of non-immigrant visas and whether or not their spouses can work in the United States. So I don't think that there's a lot of rhyme or reason to this. I assume there's some policy concerns with each of these types of visas. Some of them the spouses can work, some of them they can't, and it doesn't always seem very consistent. So I thought I'd sort of help um, break things up, break it down, and show you sort of how the, th the different types of spouses may or may not be allowed to work in the United States. So let's talk about students. So most students in the United States are here on one of two visas, either an F1 student visa or a J1 student visa. And an F1 student is just a straight student visa. And their uh, derivatives, their spouses or their minor children are here in the United States on an F2 visa. And the law really limits the ability of F1 visa holders themselves to work in the United States. Generally, they can only work for 20 hours a week on campus or as part of their curricular practical training. But as for the spouse who's here on an F2, they are not going to be allowed to work in the United States. USCIS does not allow an F2 visa holder to work in the United States. And that would be the spouse or the children. Now the other kind of international student would be a J-1 exchange student. Now the J-1 visa is sort of an exchange program where uh, foreign nationals are allowed to come to the United States, get an education, and then in theory bring their education back to their home country. USCIS allows the spouses of J-1 visa holders to work in the United States. So J-2 visa holders can work in the United States if they apply for an employment authorization document, an EAD, a work card. So J-2 dependents are allowed to work in the United States. Now let's talk about the employment context. So we get contacted from time to time by people who are holding an H-1B and their spouses are here on what's called an H-4 visa. And the question is, can H-4 visa holders work in the United States? And the general rule is that H-4 visa holders are not allowed to work in the United States. And that's been true for a very long time. Well, the Obama administration came up with an exception, and that is that if a foreign national is here on an H-1B and they have an approved I-140 petition, and that means they're moving towards a green card, and if their case is stuck, due to a backlog of visas, and the person has been waiting long enough, then the foreign national spouse, the H-4 visa holder, will be allowed to work in the United States if they apply for a work card. Now, this policy and procedure is under scrutiny and attack by the Trump administration, and by the time you watch this video, the H-4 visa holders may no longer be able to continue working in the United States. You'll have to keep an eye on that. But as a general rule, H-4 visa holders are not allowed to work in the United States, and there's just that limited exception for people with long pending green card applications that we talked about. Next up, L1 visa holders. So these are interagency or intercompany transfers, people who come from overseas to work in the United States and their spouses come on an L2 visa. L2 visa holders are allowed to work in the United States. They can get work authorization, they can get an EAD, and they can work wherever they want um, with that work authorization card. The last kind of temporary immigrant, non-immigrant visa that you want to think about and whether or not the spouses can work, and that would be an E2 investor. So certain countries have treaties with the United States that allow foreign nationals to come to the United States and start a business, and they typically come on an E2 visa. And E2 visa holders are allowed uh, to have their spouses work in the United States. So the spouses of E2 visa holders can work in the United States. So this is sort of all the categories of non-immigrant visas and when the spouses can or cannot work. We hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions about this, it's a little bit tricky, but generally you're just filing an I-765 application for the foreign national so that you can demonstrate that they should be allowed to work in the United States and then you just have to show the basis for the derivative visa, that is, what is my spouse doing? What kind of visa does my spouse have so that they uh, can demonstrate that they are eligible for a work authorization card? So if you have questions about this, 
Be sure to give us a call at 314-961-8200. You can email us at info at hackinglawpractice.com. If you like this video, please be sure to click like and share it with your friends, share it on social media. If you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, that's probably a good idea. You'll be one of the first ones to get word when we update a new video. And you can always ask us questions in our Facebook group, which is Immigrant Home.